Hi there everyone, this is Tom from OneSite Solutions. Just going to do a quick how-to video on configuring the email service in Niagara 4 and then using it to send out alarms via email. So connect to your station, expand config and expand services and in here you'll see there's not yet an email service. Open up the palette, find the email module and drag yourself in an email service. After that, drop an outgoing account onto the email service. View the property sheet of the outgoing account. And here you've got the settings that you need to configure to connect to your email provider. These settings here are going to be on a case by case basis based on whether you're going to use a client's own email service or whether you're going to use one of the public ones like Gmail, Office 365, Outlook.com, etc. The important thing is, is to make sure you know what settings you've got to put into these boxes before you try and configure it because copy of mine here isn't necessarily going to work for you unless you're also using Office 365. Also, you need to bear in mind that your Niagara device here, whether it be your PC or the JAT or a JACE or something else, has network access to the email server that you're going to use. Also, it's important to note that most email server details are provided as a DNS name like this, smtp.office365.com. If you're using a name rather than an IP address, you've also got to make sure your Niagara device has DNS servers set so it can resolve this. Anyway, going down the list, there's my host name. I know my port is 587, as I've checked earlier. My account is a test account I set up earlier. It's usually the email address of the account as well. It doesn't have to be, but it usually is to OSS test at one side dot solutions. Password goes there. Enabled is true. I know that this connection requires start TLS again because I checked earlier. Use authentication has to be true. Set the reply to address to the same as your sending account. This is for permission reasons. If you set that to something different, the email server is gonna say, you don't have permissions to send as that user. So it's much easier, and in most cases, you'll want to set it to the same as the account you have permissions to send from. So save that, and just double check your settings. Got the host name in there, the port, the account, the password. It's enabled. Start TLS is selected in my case, it may not be for yours. Transports SMTP, use authentication is true. I have my reply to address matching my account. And at this point we can save and send a test email. So just right click on the outgoing account and click send. Leave the from field blank in the two boxes. I'm gonna send an email to myself. put anything in the subject in the body field you go okay at that point you'll see one message drop into the queue here what we're waiting for is it's going to number sent and that, there it's gone so that email has left the Niagara system and gone via the email server and it's on its way to the destination email address so now we're here for part two of this video We've got our outgoing account in the email service and we've tested it. And in this section, we're going to generate a test alarm and we're going to route that through using that outgoing email account. So we send the alarms via email. So the first thing we want to do is make a new alarm class first. So open the palette, find the alarming module, and I'm going to drag a new alarm class onto the alarm service. I'm going to call this one email alarms. Um, you can use a default alarm class, however, it's unlikely that you're going to want to send out all your all your alarms via email. Um, so for, for the sake of tidiness and administration, we'll, um, we'll create a dedicated class that you can route emails out through. So there we have our new email alarm class. Next thing we need to do is set up the routing so that alarm class sends all its, e all its alarms out via email. 
Same as you would a console recipient, for example, but we're going to use an email recipient. I'll bring out the email service, and there you have an email recipient. Link the two together on the wire sheet there, and then view the property sheet of your email recipient. So in here, you can select the outgoing mail account we set up earlier, and you can provide the two address to which the email alarms that come into this are going to be sent. And there we go. All that's left for us to do now, and now that we've done the email routing, is to create a test point. So I'm just going to produce a new Boolean writable point there. And I'm going to add a change of state alarm extension to it there. And tell it to use my email alarm class, which is linked to an email recipient. So now if I set this to true, it's in alarm. And you'll see there's an email in the queue waiting to go out there. That will be our alarm that we've just generated. And shortly that will be sent and appear in my inbox. So there we go. It's now left the queue and it's been sent. And there it is, just come in to my inbox. That's it for now, guys. If you like these type of videos, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out our website. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.